Hi there everyone, Josiah here with Womp Rock Creations with this week's show and tell. This week, I'm pulling out this. So, for those of you who don't recognize it, this is a model that I made of a proton grenade used by the Rebels in Return of the Jedi to destroy the bunker on Endor. Um, it was a, it's, it's almost like a mine, uh, but in the movie, they attach it to uh, surfaces inside the bunker uh, from the bottom and then set the charge on top and get out before they all blow up. Um, this is not a, this started out as a day where I was bored and I wanted to make something and this is something that I will do from time to time. I find something and I set out to do a speed build. Um, I'm not going for the highest amount of fidelity. It's more of an exercise in, um, it's more of an exercise in making. I don't have, I'm not going for a high amount of fidelity. I'm not going for um, any exactness in my execution. I might not even finish the project. I j it's something that I might not have a real idea of how I'm going to set about doing it and I just kind of look around and see what I have and go from that. So this um, is essentially a couple of different pieces that I had laying around the shop, um, just different greeblies. I did construct the center uh, cylinder here with a empty spool uh, for some wire that I had and some um, styrene sheet. And then the bottom was, I don't even know what it was, it was just an interesting looking piece that I had. I had to cut out the middle and then attach it all together. And then this ring at the top was taken from a router attachment that I had that I wasn't using. Um, and then the inside is just a bunch of greeblies. There's a hard drive motor in here. Um, yeah, I mean this thing was, essentially thrown together in probably the matter of an hour and then kind of hastily painted. You can see that, um, I mean, this was definitely before my vinyl cutter, but I, uh, uh, all of the markings on here were just done with a paint pen by eye. So they're not the most straight lines. They're not perfect, but this, and then I of course weathered it with a couple washes, but this was, like I said, this was put together in probably about an hour and a half, um, not including painting. You know, you gotta wait for paint to dry and all that. But um, this is something that I'll do. If I don't, if I'm not feeling particularly motivated or I don't have one specific project that I'm working on or that I can work on at the moment, sometimes I'll just come in here and, and build something and, and see how it goes and this is the result of one of those. Now, because I, uh, I did make this, and like I said, this was a speed build. It's okay for a speed build, but it's definitely not anywhere near accurate. I am going to be re-attacking this build um, for you guys. We'll make that one of our build videos here soon. But I wanted to show you guys this to show that sometimes it's okay to just come in with the intention of building something kind of shoddy and um, and yeah I mean I still like having this around it's still an interesting piece and if you apply the five foot rule where you know you're standing five feet away and you just see that on a on a shelf somewhere you're like oh that that looks pretty cool so yeah this is something that I'm I'm quite fond of doing um, 
yeah, just, I like making. And this is doing a speed build of just, you know, seeing how quickly you can put something together is, is a fun exercise sometimes. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for another show and tell. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hey, thank you so much for watching that whole video. That really helps us out with continuing to bring you these cool videos. The other thing that really helps us out is our merch. You can head over to WampRatCreations.com and pick yourself up some really cool stuff. Just like this, visit Scenic Hoth Travel T-shirt. Thanks, guys. Five three to upper bay door. Five three to upper bay door.